Happy Saturday to everybody. I just wanted to do a video on uh, cleaning up your data. So the first thing I want to do is I want to, you want to go to your uh, Ninja uh, icon that's loaded on your desk and right click on it. Go down to properties and just do a control C and copy that into your clipboard. And then that's it. So then go to your start and just type in graphics. You'll pop up into your uh, graphics settings here. And from Browse, just Control V and paste that path that you just copied in there. And they had that. And it populates to NinjaTrader. From there, you can go to your options and you select high performance. And you might have a different graphics card, but change that to high performance and save. Okay, the next phase of this maintenance cleanup is inside of your documents folder. So you've got your computer documents and then Ninja Trader 8. I've got a friend of mine, John, the owner of uh, NextGen, in the following video clip that's going to walk through on how to delete all your database. When you come in here, um, the only caveat that I want to put to that, he'll talk about just deleting all these, which is fine because they will self-generate. However, if you're big into market replay, as I am, you've collected a lot of data um, and, and stored it. So I don't like to just let that go because then you have to go re-download it again. So I put it and move it into a, another folder that's labeled do not delete. And and then that way it's, it's always there if I ever want to go pull out some old data. So needless to say, you can keep this folder or, you know, move it to another folder that you want. But the point of it is, is that these could all go and they will self-generate. The only one you don't want to let go um, these are all old files I have from the old Ninja, but this newest file, which is this SQLite, is their database. It, it will self-generate also, but you, know, you don't have to kind of delete that one just yet unless you're having some serious problems. You'll probably stay away from that one. But just all this data that just gets collected, you know, just over time. So the last section that we want to do is if you go back to your Ninja. The other section is your log and trace files. If you come in here, you'll see that Ninja collects, every time you launch Ninja, it creates a little file and they get bigger and they get clogged up. So these could all go and the same thing, I'll go back to log. It's the same one. They'll self-generate again, but uh, you would want to be have Ninja off to do this. And then that'll just self-generate, a, a populate a new one. And one last thing would be Helix for those Helix users. Um, Helix also creates little folders, little files in here that could then be deleted. I usually just do Control A for all and then just hit the delete key and they all go away. Uh, you could actually delete the folder and it'll self-populate also, but it's what I do. So without further ado, let me introduce John. Okay, guys, going to walk you through, uh, go to your documents folder, go to your Ninja 8 folder, go to the DB folder, and then we're going to highlight each of the folders in there from tick all the way up to cache. We're going to hit the delete button and don't delete this uh, database file. If you do, it won't kill you, but try not to delete it. Go back to the Ninja 8 folder, go to the temp folder. Now these are all Ninja Trader data files. And you're going to want to get rid of all of these. So just hit control A to highlight them all. And then hit the delete button and they're gone. We're going to go back to the Ninja 8 and go to your workspaces folder and delete the recovery folder. Once you've done that, you are now free to open up your Ninja Trader. And once you actually open your Ninja Trader, um, then everything will populate with clean data and you'll be off to the races.